Welcome to Dr. Chester Rants, and I'm going to rant about this from the Hollywood Reporter. More layoffs coming Tuesday at Warner Bros. Discovery. Sources say Channing Dun uh, Dungy's Warner Bros. TV group will be among those impacted. Remember this uh, interesting little information that we had a couple of months ago? David Saslav cutting costs because the company is a bit in losing money, so far to say. But more importantly, do you remember even more bit earlier than that? In which I announced that DC Comics is on a hot desk type of office because they are losing money like crazy, like somebody who, I don't know, a proper analogy here. Oh, I got one. Like you ate a bad taco and you're shitting everywhere and puking. Yes. That's DC Comics. They ate a bad taco, that is the SJW nonsense, and now they are puking and pooping everywhere. So that's exactly what it is. A good analogy. Instead of poop and vomit, it's money and clients. They're losing everything. So they were on a hot desk, as in. If you don't know what that means, it means that you don't have a permanent office anymore. It means the employees would go to the office, a rented place, use the desk for a couple of hours, then they have to vacate, vacate that desk, take all their stuff with them, pens, pencils, documents, everything with them, and leave the desk so somebody else can come in, bring their stuff, and work on that office. That's what hot desk means. And they have been doing that. So, here's the curious bit. Sources tells The Hollywood Reporter that as part of Warner Bros. Discovery CEO David Saslav, effort to find 3 billion in post-merger cost savings that layoffs will impact several departments in the merged companies. Among those expected to be impacted are Channing Dungy's Warner Bros. Television Group, which includes scripted, unscripted, and alternative studios, possibly the EC Comics, Cartoon Network, Adult Sim, and other units. Reps of the Warner Bros. Discovery and WMTV, WBTV, declined comment. So, EC Comics will likely get some backlash, as in it will. At least at some point, we'll get some people fired in there. Hey, you idiots decided to make Superman gay, and that flopped so badly that the comic got cancelled. No wonder they tried to do the last hurrah in him coming out of the closet, and, uh, and that failed. Did not generate the sales they wanted. Oh, what a surprise, isn't it? And then we have a multitude of shows that were shit. Like Batgirl being absolute shit. Probably the only thing saving it was the cameos and probably Brandon Fraser. That's the only thing I'll say it would be saving it, but apparently it was so shit. So shit that it got cancelled. It was easier to just to recoup the costs in all the forms with insurances and other things than actually releasing that garbage. Then we have the biggest example of them all, the HBO... Is it HBO Max? Yes, it's HBO Max. There's a movie and a TV show coming out of Scooby-Doo with Velma, well, not Velma, in which one, she is gay. Bisexual, probably. Fake. And then we have the other one in which they race swapped almost every single character, except Scooby-Doo. Is not there. He got him out because apparently it's too childish for an adult TV show. Let's let's not forget her family guy, which I'm pretty sure it's not for children. Right? Or South Park with a talking poo, Mr. Hanky, or the towel that is constantly high, towely. Right? 
Hey, yeah, it makes no sense. The people behind that Scooby-Doo show, well, sorry, Velma Not Velma show is, uh, yeah, retarded. Very, very retarded. And what can you do? Let's continue the article. News with the additional layoff layoffs are coming is not necessarily new information, though the Tuesday timing is a wave of layoffs. It's Casey Bloys, HBO Max, and HBO Teams in August, with an estimated 70 staffers let go as part of a larger restructuring. Why did you people cancel the Velma Not Velma, the series? Sorry, Not Velma Velma series. I think that's better. All facets of the merged WBD are being examined as Saslavs look to save billions in staff redundancies and other areas. Sources tell THR that the lower level executives may be focused on the layoffs at WBTV. Oh boy. On the departments like ad sales are rumored to be looking to cut costs by 20 to 30 percent through the combination of layoffs. So basically, in other words, you go woke. It does not pay off. In fact, you're pretty much guaranteed to go broke. In rare situations, that doesn't happen, but, but, you definitely have a tendency to go broke. There you go, people. Remember, get woke. Ha! You're gonna go broke. On that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night. I surely am, because now I have a big, fascinating stiffy in knowing that DC Comics may be affected. Fuck! DC Comics!